Good morning, dear student. Today we are going to introduce a new chapter, chapter 9. But before we start, we are going to make a quick revision on the most important events in chapter 8. Okay, what happened in chapter 8? In chapter 8, there was an appointment between Mrs. Corney and monks. She told him the secret of the gold locket that Agnes left to the nurse. Then Rose, the girl who was adopted by Mrs. Mailey, caught a fever and she was very sick. So Mrs. Mailey asked Oliver to go to the town and ask for a doctor. On his way home, he met monks. He didn't know him, but he was very afraid of him. Now let's move to chapter 9. Please open your storybooks, page 36. Oliver felt such joy that almost couldn't bear it. Rose was going to live, and even the sun seemed to shine brighter because of it. He went out and picked the biggest bunch of flowers for her that he ever had. As he returned to the house, he saw a carriage pulling up. A young man jumped out. Is she better or worse? He cried. Please highlight me. Highlight with me this line. A young man jumped out. Better, much better, Oliver said, happy to give good news. He saw his own joy reflected in the young man's face. Who is this man? This man is Harry, Mrs. Mayle's son. He loves, he loves Rose very much and he wanted to check if she's better or not. Let's describe him. He was about 23, tall and handsome. Oliver realized that this was Mrs. Mayle's son. Harry, whom he had posted the letter to. Harry stayed with them, waiting for Rose to recover. He insisted on coming with Oliver to pick flowers for Rose. Oliver liked him, and he noticed Rose did too. She never threw out the flowers that Harry brought but kept them even after they had dried out. Indeed, most people who met Harry liked him. He planned to become a politician and be elected to parliament. So please highlight with me these lines. Those who knew him agreed that he would be, he would probably succeed very soon. Let's move to the next paragraph. Day by day, Rose became stronger, but Oliver noticed that sometimes she looked unhappy. Why did she look unhappy? Let's read the next paragraph to understand. Harry noticed this too, and he spoke to his mother about it. I must talk to Rose, he said. I love her. I have wanted to tell her so all my life, but I was waiting till I become rich or famous or successful. Highlight with me, please. But now I see how foolish it is to wait. If she had, I can't stay, I can't, I can't say the word, if she had not gotten better, I would have lost my chains forever. 
You can't imagine how I suffered thinking of that. Mrs. Maidy was quiet. I suppose you have suffered, she finally said. You suppose I have, cried Harry. How can I doubt it? I did, I did. You must know it. Listen, Harry. Rose deserves someone who will love her all her life. He's highlighted me. You think you like her now, but after you are elected to parliament, you will meet beautiful. Turn the page, please. And interesting women. This is Harry, as you can see, and this is Oliver. They picked some flowers for Rose. An interesting woman. You may regret marrying someone like Rose. So now Mrs. Maley is advising her son. Rose who is a poor orphan and used to a simple life, if you change your mind, you will break her heart. I would never regret it, exclaimed Harry, hurt by the idea. I will talk to her. I'm sure she feels the same way I do. And so Harry went to Rose and asked to speak with her. I think you know what I'm going to say, he began. You know how I feel when I'm around you, even though I haven't put it into words. Rose knew. After a, I'm sorry, a tear fell from her eye. I came here because of a terrible fear, the worst I have ever known. Harry continued. It was the fear of losing the woman whom I have loved my whole life. You were dying, and all my hopes and dreams were dying with you. And then, like a miracle, you began to get better. As your health returned, the world became beautiful to me. Rose, dear Rose, I love you. I have loved you ever since we were children. You have always been kind and good to me, said Rose, filled with emotion. Please hear my answer and don't think I am ungrateful. Your answer is that I may try to deserve you, isn't it, Rose? Harry said eagerly. My answer is that you must forget me, Rose said. I cannot marry you because there is a scandal connected with my family. Please highlight with me this line. It's a very important line. What's the meaning of a scandal? A publicized incident. A bad incident that everyone knows about. But Rose, said Harry, because people gossip, everybody says you will soon be elected to parliament. Many people will support you, but others will be jealous and try to disgrace you. If I marry you, they will learn of my past and use it against you. Please highlight with me this paragraph. I don't understand, said Harry. So Rose told him her story. What is the story behind Rose? What is the scandal that Rose is afraid of? My mother died shortly after I was born. 
I had one sister who was much older than me. When I was five years old, my sister was about 19. She met a man who was living in the country. He was quiet and didn't have many friends. But my sister got along well with him. So soon they fell in love. They planned to marry, but then my sister's fiancé had to go abroad suddenly. Then he died. Please keep highlighting with me this paragraph. Turn the page, please. There he died of a fever. So again, Rose had a sister who was older than her. She married someone and he then he uh, had to travel to another country and there he died of a fever. He caught a fever there and died. To make things worse, a woman came to visit my father and sister. She told them that she was that man's wife and they had a son. Naturally, my sister was devastated. What's the meaning of devastated? Destroyed or chucked. Then she discovered she was going to have a child. One night she ran away and we never saw her again. My father died shortly after that, believing she had killed herself. Please highlight with me this paragraph. So after her sister's husband traveled to a country and caught a fever, a strange woman came to her. She told her that she is his wife as well and she had a son. When Rose's sister heard of this story, she was chugged and destroyed. So she ran away. Her father was so sad that he died shortly after that because he believed that her, uh, his daughter killed herself. Let's continue. Rose posed after telling this sad story. You see, I cannot be the wife of a politician, Harry. People will talk about my family's past. So Harry wanted to marry Rose, but she said no, she refused because she thought that people will talk about her past as Harry is going to be a famous politician. The last paragraph, Harry knew he couldn't change Rose's mind, so finally he said, I will leave now, but I will come back later and see if you still feel the same. Early the, the next morning, Harry left for London, so he will go back to London. Afterwards, Oliver found Rose alone, crying bitterly. She tried to smile when she saw him, but she still looked unhappy and restless. Oliver didn't know what to do, but fortunately he soon thought of a new project. This was to go to London to find Mr. Brownlow and apologize to him. Rose agreed enthusiastically and they set off for the city. Thank you.